Now, similar to secondary storylines is a feature called compound clips. And a compound clip is a way to group a bunch of clips together into one object so that you can treat it as its own entity. So, for example, if you wanted to apply a filter that was going to affect all of these clips together, rather than having to apply separate filters to each clip, you could create a compound clip out of them and then apply the filter to that. Or you might create a compound clip out of some effects or some, a group of clips in your primary storyline and then edit that as if it was one clip. Or you even might combine a secondary clip and a primary clip into one object uh, to simplify your timeline. So let's talk about how to do this. Select a group of clips, and I'll just start by doing something really simple like these two connected clips here. Go to my File menu and choose New Compound Clip or press Option G. And that will, it'll ask me to name that. So I'm going to be creating a new object in my event. This is a new compound clip. It's going to appear in the event over here. And let's just call this cutaways1. And it's going to take a second to do that. And then it's going to create the object in my timeline. You see now those two clips have been replaced by this one object. And if I go to my Ethiopia bin over here, and I've got a lot of objects in here, so let's filter this list. Let's go ahead and type in cutaway, and it's going to filter the list. And there it is, cutaways1. And you see it's got its own little icon. And this is a special icon that shows it's like a little group of connected clips there. That is your, your compound clip element. And that, again, it appears in the, in the browser because it's saved that way in the browser. It did not throw away my original media. Those still cl two clips are still there somewhere else. But right now, it allows me to treat this as if it's its own clip. And similarly, instead of doing it to, to connected clips, we could do it right here in the main timeline. So, for example, I'm going to take these clips here. Let's take these clips, these two clips with that transition between them. We have that cool little flary effect there that joins those two clips. Let's grab the group of those two, two three things, two clips in a transition. Press Option G, and that's going to, again going to ask me to name it, and I'm going to call it Cool Transition Clips. And you probably want to name these things something more specific and constructive so you can find them later. But uh, I'm just playing around, and it's going to take a second. It will create a clip instead. There it is. It, trans it, it took away the clips that were there previously and added this cool transition clips thing, including that little effect there. So you see that little, that little solar flare thing is still there, and it's one object now. Now, notice that it did not uh, properly integrate this transition effect that was connected to the, the clip that I took it from which I have to go fix that manually. But anyway, uh, that you probably don't want to do this and, and break apart a transition like that. But nonetheless, this is now one object that we can trim and treat like any other clip. Uh, it just happens to be a clip that's comprised of multiple other clips.